Hey guys, how are you? So somebody asked me, should Python be your first programming language to learn? So the short answer, yes, it's a great choice. Let's find out why. Here are the four top reasons why I think you should learn Python as your first programming language. And by the way, this is about whether or not Python is a good language, well, it's a good first programming language. I'm not saying Python's the best programming language in the world. I'm not saying all the other languages are bad. I'm just saying for the first programming language, this is probably the best one. Let me read reasons. Number one, Python is cross-platform. Works on Linux, Windows, Mac OS. I think it even works on uh, Chromebooks. So it's cross-platform and it's easy to install. One click install, click, and you're done. Number two, Python comes with its own code editor. It's built in. It's called the IDLE. The IDLE is uh, it's Python's code editor integrated development environment. Uh, it's designed for people to use to learn Python with. It allows programmers to easily write Python code. Uh, you can execute single statements and create, modify, and execute Python scripts. Basically allows you to do not everything, but a lot with Python. So you don't have to install special software. You don't have to do, you just install Python. You're ready to start learning. The third reason why Python is a great first programming language is because it doesn't use any weird symbols. Other programming languages will use weird symbols and curly braces and things that might confuse people. Whereas Python tends to have a more friendly, noob friendly code, set of codes. I was about to use the nerd word for code. That's syntax. So Python has a more noob-friendly syntax. Syntax is just a nerd's way of saying the code that you write. So it looks more like just plain old English. So it's a little bit more approachable that way. Finally, Python is a dynamic and loosely typed language. That means it's easier to learn when you're first learning how to write code. I'll, I won't get into the details as to what a loosely typed language is, what a dynamic language is. All that means that there are less concepts for you to understand which would just make it easier for you to learn how to program in the first place. A close second to Python would be JavaScript. The problem with JavaScript is that it can be a little wonky, it's a little inconsistent in maybe not so obvious ways, and that might trip up some learners, although it's a close second. I'm not sure. Sometimes I think maybe learning JS might be better. Most of the time I'd say Python. But what about languages like Java, C Sharp, C++, why wouldn't I choose those languages as the first programming language to learn? Simply stated, languages like C Sharp and Java, C++, they are more complex in terms of some of the concepts you have to understand initially. So before you can get productive with Java, before you can get productive with C++ and C Sharp, you have to understand more theoretical concepts. And so for a lot of people, a lot of new learners, people new to code, not everybody, but for a lot of people, I would say the majority, it just creates extra hurdles. And so I prefer languages like Python or Java simply because of that. The good news is once you learn how to program with Python, other languages like Java, C Sharp, C++, they'll become much, much easier to approach because all these languages as I've said many times, are very, very similar. Many of the concepts, I would say 90% of the concepts, if not more, that you learn in Python, they work 100% in all these other languages. So why not try with something a little bit easier, like Python, and then you can move into a little more challenging languages like C++. I personally teach three programming languages. I teach Python, JavaScript, and PHP. And I also teach several coding languages, including HTML5, CSS3, SQL, and a whole bunch more. My name is Uncle Steph. I have a mentoring program. You can check out the links below. I also have a newsletter. You can link, link to it below, get some uh, insights from me every once in a while. Thanks for watching the video. Bye-bye.